Hey, how's it going? Um, so yeah, I uh, was gonna play some chess tonight and figured uh, when, I, when I go live and scream me looking miserable at chess. Sorry for the sound, that was, uh, was my email. I should probably turn that off at some point so that doesn't happen again. Yeah. Oh, that was just me letting me know I was, I was online. So I should probably bring that up, right? Let me check that out. All right, I'll keep talking. So yeah, uh, he's gonna play some chess. Actually, I've been playing chess off and on for a bit, off and on for a bit. I'm probably not very good, but uh, off and on. You know, I do my thing and uh, I have fun with it. But a lot of, a lot of um, YouTube's been sharing a lot of chess videos with me in that rabbit hole, that, that uh, YouTube rabbit hole. So I've been really watching a lot of, uh, a, a lot of chess videos lately of Mag, is it Magnus? Carlson Magnus Carlson he's like a world champion great player guy yada 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 but um so yep I just you know got the England to play and he's gonna play a little bit and uh, I'll turn my fan off here so anyway if you hear noises from the other room it's my family they're they're hanging out playing and I'm just sitting here drinking my uh liquid death not a sponsor, but if you want to be my sponsor for late night chess and whatnot, give me a shout, Liquid Death. So, and I was also going to talk about, uh, let's see, Law Tube and whatnot. Um, this is really weird. Um, Poor law tube. They um, <laughs> I I love law tube, um, but I'm gonna go with Nick Riceda, and that's who I've been watching through all these trials and whatnot. I've just another one of those rabbit holes, you know. And um, I kind of follow Nick Riceda, and uh, yeah. Go ahead and save that. Got to fix some of these things. First time on the riverboat. Turn my monetization on. All right, we should be good to go now. I'm just looking to see what's uh, what's happening here with with this very odd. Um, really weird. I don't know why they would say it's uh, under review. Do I already have a copyright strike? <laughs> Pretty odd, pretty odd. Anyway, I'll just hang out here with you guys for a second. Um, yeah, why would they review that? I mean, I just turned the thing on. I just turned the stream on. Oh, well, we'll let them sort it out. Anyway, I've been uh, really in touch with all the uh, Johnny Depp trial. I've been watching 
just about every second of that, which is really silly of me, I understand. You know, and it's bad because I even have, uh, also not a sponsor, but it's uh, Icebreakers Duo, which Johnny Depp had at his desk, at his table during the trial. I noticed it and I was like, I should probably go and get some, um, some of Willy Wonka's candy that he's passing out to everyone. So cheers to you guys. So I've got my Icebreakers Duo Mints, not a paid sponsorship. I've got my Liquid Death, not a paid sponsorship. But if I, either of you would like to help a brother out, please help a brother out. See, I'm having to go with the generic, uh, I'm having to go with the generic StreamYard setup because I can't afford it yet. We'll get there. We'll get there. I got a lot to say. So I'm just going to play chess and chat a little bit about stuff that's been going on on YouTube with LawTube. <laughs> LawTube. You know, for a second, I enjoyed that, that title, moniker, group, whatever. But uh, it, it quickly exploded, imploded all the applodes, just like Nick Ricada said it would. And um, I have been, I've been victim, I have fell victim, fallen victim to groups like this as well in my time. And um, you can see it coming a mile away. Anyway. I'll pull up. I'll pull up chess here. What I, I'm gonna, I don't want to be so little, but I know you can't see it. Well, thanks for watching. I see two folks watching. Thank you for hanging out. This is a picture that I actually took of the ocean. I took it of the ocean and I can tell you it's real. And uh, actually this is an NFT of mine. Took the picture, I've sold this as an NFT. I think it's beautiful, uh, mainly because it proves that the world's flat. <laughs> and it's stuff like that that will get me uh, the monetization, monetization um, <laughs> will get me in trouble. Whatever. Oh, did a light go out? I'm sure one of my lights is going to toast itself at some point during this. But anyway, that's my um, it's my desktop ocean. I took this picture, uh, I think it was in Charleston, South Carolina, actually. Oh, looks like uh, YouTube just told me that Nick Riketa is going to be live in 30 minutes with Ricada Law. I've emailed Nick about being on his show and mainly because, um, you know, I offer insight to acting because I've been acting for 35 plus years. And um, I get, it's really weird because when you, when you say you know something about something, it comes across as if you're tooting your own horn, which Acting is tooting your own horn because you're telling people, hey, look, I'm great. I've been on this. I've been on that. You should have me on. I mean, I had speaking role. I had speaking roles with Kevin Spacey. With um, Matt. Is it Matt Ryan? Matt, I think his name is Matt Ryan. He was Constantine. So I've had speaking roles with these guys on their shows. And, uh, you know, I've been to movies and TV, TV series and shows and all this jazz. Whatever. That is low key. I really want to be in um, 1080, but I, uh, like I said, I'm a poor guy right now. I can't afford stream arts. Anyway, so there was a lot of things in the Johnny Depp trial that it was like, even as an actor, knowing how the business works, knowing how um, um, things go, politics, 
and all that, the, the trial of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard pulled the curtain back even further for me to see things that, you know, I didn't, I knew I knew, but I didn't know. So that was really interesting. Uh, some of the things like that. Maybe I'll start talking about it. I don't know. Maybe I should have like streamed the trial. I was looking at some of the, some of the revenue of some of the law tube people in the last seven days, just the last seven days, one week. These people were pulling in some major cash. Emily D. Baker, uh, I'm not really an Emily D. Baker fan. I, I don't watch her on her streams. I Like, again, I stick with Ricada. I stick with Viva Fry. I love Viva Fry. He, uh, or Frey, 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 whatever, Canadian guy. And I watched him all throughout the uh, trucker protest in Ottawa. And I think it was great what was going on there. And uh, he really brought it, too. And we've got something special coming out. Uh, about that as a matter of fact coming out soon but uh yeah anyway i'll just get some chess started here and we'll uh we'll get to talking what do you think all right pull my chess up we've got a new game no oh. I opened a different uh, tab. Oh, this is not me. I wait a minute. That's that's not me. That is my son's profile. <laughs> um, sorry about that. I'm going to reload this. Let me see, let me see. Log out, where do I log out? How in the world did that load? That is just odd. Let's try this again. I'm going to need to stop sharing for just a second while I change my, <laughs> I'm going to change my password as I've now shown the world. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. not going to work. Give me one second. It's a great stream so far, I'm telling you. You'll be glad you tuned in. <laughs> I do want to thank a couple of people who are watching. Uh, thanks a lot. I appreciate that. I really, really do. You know, I was, uh, like I said, I was 
checking out a couple of uh, the stuff that these people made. Man, it's it's amazing. These these law two people. Goodness, goodness, goodness! The money they made in the last seven days. Um, Emily D. Baker made over hundred thousand dollars in the last seven days. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! My goodness, let's see here. Okay, let's try this. Aha. I think we're in business. I think we're in business. All right. All right, all right, all right. 17 minutes. I've not played one stitch of chess yet. False advertising. All right. Let's get a new game going. So, as you can see or not see, uh, I am a uh, 630. See right down here. So I'm a 630 right down here. And uh, I don't have an opponent yet, but I'm going to click the play button and we're going to see what happens. Oh, a 667. Put me in the driver's seat. Let's go for queen pawn opening. Any suggestions, you can jump in there and help me out. I appreciate it.
My family's watching Survivor in the other room. <laughs> uh, so there was some controversy with LawTube. So yeah, like I was saying, there's some contra controversy with uh, LawTube, and um, I, I'm Team DUI guy. I gotta admit, Team DUI guy. I enjoyed Legal Bites uh, when she was on Nick's stream during the Rittenhouse trial. I, that's really how I kind of came about knowing about all these people was through the Rittenhouse trial. It was one of those YouTube rabbit hole deals, and um, I kind of got hooked on that. And then when this case came around, you know, that added that uh, intrigue again. So, um, Um, so yeah, and then, so I enjoyed her when she was there and then this trial really opened up a lot of things. I, I was surprised when I first saw Nick Riketa on day one, when people were saying, where's legal bites and where's this person, this person. And, and a lot of the, Nick is the hub of this. He rejects law tube as a thing. Um, Cause he's like me, he doesn't want like you, the minute you name a group, it's going to go downhill. So be a coalition of individuals is more like it. And, uh, um, be a coalition of individuals rather than a group and uh the minute he said that you know she legal bites was going to be doing her own stream of the trial i thought to myself something's off 
something's off right away. And I thought, man, that's kind of crazy because she kind of, she drew her, um, she drew from Nick. She drew from Nick on what he had done, what he had laid, the groundwork and everything. And I just thought it was kind of weird. It's like, oh, so she's not going to come on your stream at all. And you're not going to go on her stream at all. And um, I knew from that second, I knew from the second he said that, that it was just, it was not going to work out. And now, of course, you know, she's acted as sort of hall monitor, uh, <laughs> hall monitor to things, man. And like Nick's real loosey goosey. He's like, look, if you're on my stream, whatever, you can say whatever, you can do whatever, you know, within, within boundaries of what's right and wrong. But like, if you're doing your own thing, you're doing your own thing. It's outside of his outside of his milk crate outside of his sandbox you can do whatever you want to do he's not going to try to correct you and but sure enough and i don't think it was necessarily legal bites but i think it was um well i don't think it was i know it was um kurt uh, civil law guy he really got the big head about it i feel and he's the one that really instigated this. So, you know, that's on second second look. Um, it, it seemed to be Kurt rather than it did Legal Bites. And she just followed suit. Because I noticed watching back some of them, the one thing when when Joe was on and they were talking about bringing on, um, bringing on DUI guy and James from court, they were like, uh, Kurt was the first one. Um, I think we need to have a backstage about that. And you're like, whoa, hang on a second. So maybe, I don't know, man. Little weird, little weird. I hate it for them because I really enjoy what they do. But I'm going to stick with Nick. Stick with Nick. <sighs> so I don't want to bring anybody down or anything like that. I just, you know, do what you're going to do. If you're going to make money and you're going to do your thing, do your thing. And if you, if you do something out of line, it's, it's going to bite you, you know, it's going to bite you. And I think it's, you know, it's. I think this is probably going to bite her because it just careful what you say, careful what you do. I mean, people are going to do with their thing. DUI guy didn't do anything outside of what the judge allowed. And you know what? Beyond that, none of your business. None of your business. DUI guy was there on his own, just as all these people were doing streams on their own. Leave people alone. Don't say things about people. Just leave it be. You, you, your sandbox, right? But I really think it was Kurt. I, you know, I really wanted to come down on Legal Bites when it first started, when I first heard about it. Um, but like I said, looking back, I think it's more Kurt than anybody. And I noticed it was one day Kurt was on with Nick Ricada on his channel. They were talking and then Joe was coming in and, 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 uh, and Kurt was like, well, I'm out. See ya. And he left. And I thought that was weird. Hey, look, I won. Hey. Very 
pretty cool. I won that game. Yay. <laughs> I think I'm the only one here. <laughs> uh, But anyway, yeah, so I, you know, like I said, I, it was just odd to me that day that Kurt bounced on, on Nick, Nick went somewhere and I forget which day it was. It was early on in the, in the depth trial and, and Joe was coming in, which is good logic. And I thought that was weird. It was just weird. Oh, I had a missed win. That's weird. Where, where did I miss the win? Oh, well, I still won. But, um, yeah, I just thought it was weird because I thought, you know, Joe can be Joe and, and he does his thing and he gets loud and whatever. But I just noticed, I knew something with Kurt. Yeah, strange. Let's play another game of chess. Oh, I got to put me on the defense, huh? Okay. Excuse me. Cool. We can do that. Yeah, if Omar and I are fought and we're against, I'll send it to the game and emotion. 
I'm just gonna start with shit and in this game, you are not broken. They are not you can get it broke. I'll do the basic one position. I'll do the crouch. I can't get broke. I was just like, wait, I'm not gonna act it out. How am I gonna do this? What is this right? At Final Council, what the jury saw was Omar stole from a pack of a broke on his class. This is someone who's sitting in the back of the night. I won't always be doing uh, chess. I, I'll try to do late night stuff. I really love doing late night streams. Just um, that's just me. I'm a night owl. I, I go until I run out of gas. <laughs> I have no set time to go to sleep, right? And um, always kind of been that way. We'll talk acting. We'll talk things like that. Hey, I lost the light. Give me one second.
I told you that was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. Yeah, I've never received a super chat. I, you know, it's really weird that little button right down in the in the, in the little thing there. It's the little. Uh, you can do super chats. You can do super uh, stickers. I've never had one yet. I got to keep at this. I got to do this more often. I got to do it every night. I got to talk about the, the good stuff, like Johnny Depp and and Law Tube. <laughs> I'm gonna have to break here and I'm gonna have to just go for it and get rid of the rook. I'm gonna have to lose my my rook in the middle. I'm gonna have to drop this rook down to here. And go for it. I'll risk it, but that's it. We'll see what happens. Ooh, nice. I could go for some Cracker Barrel. A little Cracker Barrel on the side there. <laughs> Uh, 
Stalemate. I didn't win, but you know, I didn't lose. That's okay. But I had zero missed wins, so that's helpful. So yeah, um, so Law Tube. Let's see, I've talked about Law Tube, talked about Giant Depth a little bit. I go back, I you know, the stuff with Law Tube, like I said, I really got into it. Uh, during Rittenhouse trial, I thought that was just an interesting trial, and uh, even if you disagree with the outcome of that trial, the law prevailed. It wasn't. It's our opinions don't prevail. It's law prevails, and even if you disagree with the law, you can do that. It's that's your prerogative. You can disagree with the law, and you can try to change the law, but currently the law is the way it is, and you know things are judged on the merit of the law not necessarily our opinion of the law because our opinion and the merit can be two different things needless to say i look at it more of the entertainment so with johnny depp i'm a big johnny depp fan i never thought he was guilty of anything he just didn't come across that way during the whole <clears throat> movement <laughs> he just didn't come across that way to me and um I, I always just, uh, you know, I, whatever. I had my opinions. Um, so when the trial came up, you know, I, I kind of backed off from Law 2, but not a lot going on. Didn't have a lot to, I mean, I didn't watch them every day. I would check in and see what was going on with Nick. And um, yeah, but nothing big. So YouTube decided that the Johnny Depp trial was big enough for my attention and so it threw it head first back into it back into that whole rhythm of things and i expect to see the usual crew um and it didn't seem to be that way this time it was really weird and uh i just knew something was bad from the get-go is it get-go i'm from i'm from the south so it's get-go down here you got get-go we have the get and go restaurant or gas stations down here convenience store sorry they have more than gas but um so yeah from the get-go i just kind of knew something was not right I can do this here kind of knew something was weird when when nick uh, announced that legal bites was alita was going to be doing her own streams and I, I don't know anything. I'm not a lawyer. I don't know anything about it. But I've learned a lot from these guys. All of them, really. Except for a couple. The, the arrogant ones, I don't really learn from. Because they're not there to teach you anything. They're there to sound important. To hear themselves talk. Um, I've, I've not learned anything from them. But the UI guy was fascinating just because he went i mean he you know i know that legal bites wanted to go on about how a lot of hard work and things like that let me tell you the the hardest work that i'm going to put into this stream <laughs> is making sure these lights don't cut out on me like the one did that's going to be the hardest part i can talk and talk i've got plenty of stories i can talk all day that's me i mean my family tells me to shut up a lot <laughs> so the hard work is when you give up give up your um when you when you when you decide to take it upon yourself to go to a place um like the dui guy did he actually went i mean he was there he got in the courtroom he was taking notes he was doing jury analysis laying it all out um and then i mean people were asking him to come on their streams like ricada legal bikes they're asking hey when you get out when court's out or even on break come come share with us what you've seen about the jury and things like this that was really cool he didn't have to do that but he did it he could have gone to his own stream 
and done that. But he came and checked in with these people first because he was including them in what he was doing. He wasn't being included in what they were doing. They were benefiting from DUI guy, period. The money that they made in the last, how many ever weeks it's been, DUI guy, he gave of himself to help them get to a certain level. Now, don't doubt that. That's true. Meanwhile, they sat right where I'm sitting, right? Where does she sit? She sits on this side. Yeah, she sits on this side. Um, which I think can be a little bit... I mean, I like what she's doing. I mean, it looks good, but... I'm out of the light. I don't have enough lights. Um, I do have my giant dip candy. Because he was sharing candy with everyone at the table. Didn't share any with Mr. Rotten Barn, though. Um, so, you know, he was not a foot soldier for anyone. Not a foot soldier. He was his own soldier. Sharing his info with these pages. Because I wanted to know. I saw what he was doing, and I'm like, you know... I was a Nick guy. I couldn't. I tried to watch Legal Bites one day when Nick was having a really bad stream with lag, and I clicked over and I was like, "Man, I cannot watch this. I cannot watch these people." It was so dull to me. I don't know. The humor wasn't there. It was almost like Nick's great because he has a lot of knowledge. He has a lot of opinion. He has a lot of facts, but he also has humor. They don't have any humor over there. It's just a vacuum of, of these these YouTube lawyers listening to each other talk. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So anyway, um, yeah. That was just my opinion on things. Um, again, looking back, I think Kurt was probably the instigator of it but i think that um ui guy i mean he was there man he was camping out and i've camped out for things i camped out for kiss when kiss went on tour when they they did a reunion tour in 97 i camped out for tickets for kiss all night long all night long i camped out for kiss tickets i got them i used to like kiss i don't like them anymore I liked them back in the day. My friend's on the other night. Where were you? I forget where he saw them. He said they were terrible. And I saw them with him once. And he was like, they, they were terrible. Terrible. So what else did I camp out for? I camped out for... Um, I camped out for Star Wars Episode 1. I camped out for tickets. It was really interesting because... We were going to camp out for tickets because it was going to screen the first night at midnight the next night. Or, yeah, you know, midnight, that whole thing. Like, it's midnight now. Luckily, I worked at the movie theater. So my boss, I showed back up with my friend, and we were, and he had worked there before. He had worked there prior to that as well. And I told him, I said, yeah, we're just going to camp out on the sidewalk out here, man, and get our tickets. And he was like... Well, if you help me count inventory, I'll just let you sleep on the couch inside. I was like, yeah. So so here we are coming to get our Phantom Menace tickets. And we helped do inventory inside. And then we got to sleep on the couches all night in the in the lobby of the movie theater. And then get our tickets the very, very next day because we were first in line. Uh, and then I fell asleep during the movie that night. Not because I was sleeping. <laughs> Um, so I camped out for that. What else did I camp out for? Uh, let's see. I camped out. Oh, my wife and I used to do Black Friday a lot. It's not that we camped out, but we did get in line several times for that sort of thing. Um, and we did that. But then I also camped out for the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti graphics card which I have now. I did camp out for that. The first time I missed it, I camped out. I got there like an hour before they released them. And I was, I was already way down the line and I didn't get it the first day. 
So then I got word, someone told me, oh, oh, there was a lady employee at Best Buy told me that they were gonna have them the next week. This was months, a couple of months later. I was like, okay, cool. So I got there at three o'clock in the morning and I was already way down the line again. So I took my chair and everything and I sat in the cold with my coat on and you know made friends with the other graphics nerds there another av club <laughs> and uh yeah anyway that was fun i don't know what else i camped out let's see uh ah, there's got to be something else i can't think of it anyway um yeah so to see to see dui guy going super early I mean, like in the morning, I, I know that process. I know that feeling. I know that um, experience. You, you you make friends with people. You get in line. You're, you're lucky if you get in that number, in that window, and you know it. You know, you're grateful for that. And so, anyway, seeing him every night do that was, was pretty cool that he was there. Uh, I think it was pretty shoddy that he got shuffled out. Um, he got shuffled out and it was weird. It was weird that last day. So he didn't, didn't get to get inside, but luckily he came to, came to Rakita's stream. I'm going to play another, uh, let's do, oh, here we go. I'm going to play another game real fast.
got me on that one. That was bad. Bad game, bad game.
I won one. Yay, I won one. All right, I'm going to call it a night. Um, I had one or two people that uh, that were watching. That was really cool. Uh, they didn't say anything. Uh, I don't like to sit and talk to myself. <laughs> but if you watch the replay back, uh, you know, give it some love if you don't care. I know I don't have a lot going on here right now, visually and things like that. I got a little, uh, little chess going on. Stop sharing that. I got a little chest going on. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. No, I'm not bleeding. Uh, I've got a little chest going on. I've got stories. I've got opinions uh, of this and that. That is really in the way. <laughs> that is my uh, it's my essential oils burner. So yeah, I'll try to come back. Uh, I'll try to come back at night. Got a gig coming up in a couple of months where I'll be away. But uh, other than that, thanks for the couple of people that hung out anonymously in the backgrounds. Uh, in the background. In the background. Not backgrounds. And uh, yeah, come back soon. I appreciate it. Take it easy.